the city of Burlington is facing a myriad of concerns ahead as the population ages. Mayor Rick Goldring turned the focus to this issue at his Inspire Burlington series last night. In the city of Burlington, we have about 19% of our population over 65, we have about a third over 55, and 48% over 45. Uh, so we have a significant um, retirement or Zoomer uh, population, as we heard from Moses, that particular terminology, Zoomer. And we thought he would be a, a great person to come out because he's been advocating uh, for Zoomers and seniors uh, for a long time. He's a great success. Uh, he's a big name and we thought he would attract a lot of people that we could have a good dialogue tonight. Zneimer coined the term Zoomer himself and it has since become the name of his current entertainment company. Old is a curious word. It has a certain venerable quality to it, but it's also a word that makes people nervous. We all want to live forever if we're healthy, but nobody <laughs> wants to be old. So I realized that language was part of the problem, and I took the word boomer, which people understand and use wildly and widely, and I added the idea of zip. I wanted to convey the fact that these are people who still have a lot of energy, a lot of commitment, a lot of means in many cases, and a lot to contribute. Incredibly, Zneimer says he came up with the idea back in 1984 when he launched Much Music. I remember thinking, everybody gets older every year. Can these people run a rock and roll channel when they're 60? And I remember very quickly deciding, yes, I can, but I'm not sure about everybody else. And the point is that the culture, the advertising, the politicians all seized on the idea that the boomers were young, which is what they were at that time, and decided that that was the only thing that was important about them. I realized that what was important about them was that they were the largest generation ever created, and if they were important for that reason, they had to remain important as they proceeded through life. Zneimer is also the president of CARP, an advocacy association representing this massive age group. Well, CARP is Canada's largest advocacy for Canadians as we age. Uh, we have about 310, 320,000 members. Uh, and in addition to that, we have about 200,000 circulation, which is to say subscribers, to our magazine. The actual readership of the magazine then goes on to be 1,750,000. So as a grouping, a advocacy with a media voice, we are now clearly the leading advocacy in the country. CARP has had a hand in many victories for seniors, including income splitting and the abolishing of the mandatory retirement age. Their current focus is pensions and financial security, due in part to the current situation at Sears. I think many people were shocked to find out that in a bankruptcy, pensioners who've paid in a lifetime are not protected and their money can literally disappear. Um, so we've been hitting hard on that. And there are now a number of members' bills in front of Parliament, and we think there will be some action. For more information, visit carp.ca. If you'd like to view Mr. Snymer's entire speech, you can do so right here on your TV on Channel 700 in HD at a future date. Just check your local listings at yourtv.tv. For Halton News, I'm James Spaulding.